Good morning from Nassau, Bahamas. As you guys can see, we are currently next to the Wonder of the Seas. This is the first time I've seen my girl for a while since December of 2022, which is crazy. But anyway, we are here. Um, this is our replacement port for Progresso. Progresso was supposed to be our port of choices cruise, but because of barrel, we had to change it. So we are actually going to go have some breakfast and get ready to get off the ship. Our order for all aboard time is at 3.30 today. So um, let's go see what we can get into. You guys know that we have our favorite things that we do in Nassau, but we'll see you guys in a bit. Well, if you need the ships lined up by size comparison, there you go. <laughs> it's pretty dope to see. It's actually nice. I don't think I've ever been in port where a cruise ship was this close to like the port. It's usually there are a couple of piers out so seeing a cruise ship like right here is crazy also it's it's already super hot we ain't even got outside the port here <laughs> All right, so we're walking to Jumping New Beach. This is actually our first time doing this. So I'm very interested in to see how this is gonna go, especially because, you know, I've been dealing with my knee here the past couple of weeks. So hopefully it won't be too bad, but it said it's a 13 minute walk. So you basically follow the sidewalk past uh, Senior Frogs and around, and it's, it's really close. So let's go. No, Brandon, you did not come all the way to Bahamas to have Chinese food. There's also a Dunkin' Donuts. Good marijuana. No, sir, we did not want marijuana. Avis rental car. I don't think I've ever been this way on foot. If you have mobility issues, this can be a strenuous walk, but you can always catch a cab in port. If you want to make it a double feature, there's Margaritaville Beach Resort. So you can get off the ship and go to the beach resort right there. <laughs> There was a rumor going around in the Facebook group that I was in that if you booked a cruise on Margaritaville at sea, that you can enter their beach resort for free. This is not true. But if you are interested in booking Margaritaville Beach Resort, please check the link in the comments below and you can use our code on buyerder.com. All right. The water is beautiful though. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yeah. Oh, look, the lighthouse. Yeah. Yeah. Who? You. About what? Oh, nah, I can't say a damn thing. Yeah, she can walk it out. I know I can. Ooh, water right there. It's packed too. Yeah, because all these ships wasn't expecting to be in port today. Now again, Junkanoo Beach was packed because A, there were five ships in port and B, they were all in port because they were rerouted because of barrel. Um, once again, the girls did choose to have a beach day and we obliged just because we don't get to cruise with them that often. So we actually walked got in the water i got in the water brandon did not but we walked down to the beach um, i appreciate raquel from the mh family adventures who supplied me with a drink on the beach that was good and then uh we met some local kids and hung out with them for a little bit so uh that was interesting uh, as you can see the water was um very clear and we were able just to sit down and enjoy the beach while we were doing so Brandon and Ron met and uh, they came up with a plan of their own. What do you guys think? 
should they make this a podcast? We're leaving Junkanoo <laughs> Beach now and heading to Bearded oh. Clam. But if you want a free beach day, it's not a bad walk. And I know everybody's doing it and everybody's used to it, but this is our first time. Specifically a 15-minute walk. Yeah, so it's about a 15-minute walk. But if you walk down to Margaritaville and in between Margaritaville and the other hotel, there is a pathway that'll take you to Junkanoo Beach. You kind of got walked down a little bit further to get to the free beach it's at the end of that block of margaritaville but at the end of the day it's worth it we had a great time Thank we end up seeing raquel from mmh family adventures there and you might want to get if there's a lot of ships in port you might want to get here early as early as early as possible <laughs> so yeah how much were the chairs and umbrellas so I don't know if that's regular price or because it was like four ships in port, but they're two for 20 and then the umbrella was $10. So $30 for two chairs and an umbrella. Uh, we just found the spot against the wall, laid our stuff down and went and hung out in the water. So it didn't cost anything. But outside of that, uh, let's go ahead and head bit of clear. Does it look the same as you remember? Yes. Buffalo. What did you get? Buffalo chicken loaded fries. Buffalo chicken loaded fries. That's what you had last time, right? Yeah. Delicious. Okay. So we got our usual the wings. Uh, Destiny got wings as well. So um, it's down a little alley, but it seems like everybody's found out about it. I guess we talked about it enough. Anyway, uh, we'll let you guys see the food and then we're going to head back on the ship. All right, everybody's food is here. Everybody munching. Barely. <laughs> All right, let's see. All right, five ships in port today. It was the Carnival Horizon, um, Enchanted Princess, MC Seashore, and the Margarita Bill at Sea Islander, and the Wonder of the Seas. Um, it's good to see the Wonder of the Seas again. I haven't seen it in a while, but yeah, such a interesting collection of ships, but all because of barrel. So we are getting ready to head back towards the ship and uh, get ourselves together for it later on this afternoon. See you next time, that's all. Hopefully, maybe some water disease. I'm going to try it. I really want to go. <laughs> yeah, the water's kind of nasty, but anyway, we are off on to our sea day and then back home. We are currently in on flip flop deck, and that's that, the name of it. And a turn for yeah, flip flop deck. Yeah, this is a flip flop. Uh, we're on flip flop deck, and we're here because well, we're going to dinner. Squirrel. All right, we were going to dinner, but then it was a forty-five minute wait, so we decided to go to the dining room, and the food was just as bad. <laughs> so. All right, so today is Brandon Day at the buffet. And to see the line is not short. The line is short, but it is slow. Thank you. <laughs> well, that was awesome. I don't know what this is. The gooey chicken. Yeah, this line is moving super slow. And I have to be honest, I don't know what some of this stuff is. And I'm probably gonna. The tonight is not a good food night on the ship. Between the buffet and the dining room is not a good night on the ship. I don't know what that is, so I'm gonna pass. Yeah, so, yeah, that's it, I'm done. This is probably gonna end up being a pizza night for me because everything up there looks kinda gross. <laughs> yeah, I might go get a burger or some pizza because it's, it's. Okay, so apparently it looks sweet like Memphis. <laughs> so I'm gonna go see if the burgers are available for dinner tonight because it may be a burger and fry night. Now I am going to go look at the buffet because um, Brandon tends to lean more simple with his eating and I can adventure some. 
So let me go and see if the burgers are available for dinner. I hope they are, because I do need to have a backup option. Who else is going to... No burgers. Oh, no. Oh, no. All right. We might be in trouble tonight. We might be in trouble tonight, y'all. Oh, boy. This is not looking good. No Mexican cutie. No burgers. Uh, everything? They're gonna force you to pay for food. So They're gonna force you to pay for food. You gonna end up going back there. So I'm gonna go back there and see if there's anything back there. But then that's that's pay for food. It's like the chicken wings are Yeah. I have to be the main because either that or just sit pizza. Or we go to the coffee shop. They got coffee. sandwiches over there. Everything they charge you, right? Yeah. I'm ready to pay for chicken wings and a sandwich. All right, let me go see if the buffet options look better for me. It's gonna be a piece of Okay, so there was something that happened on this cruise that was kind of interesting. As strong as the food started, is as weak as it ended and i mean it just got progressively worse as the cruise came to an end i don't know what happened the last two days but we just did not have great eating experiences so um we will caution you that there may be times where you have great options and there may be times that you don't but just be just be aware All right, so this this may save the night and the pasta. The rest of it, I am so unsure about, and I'm talking about Brandon, but I'm really unsure about the rest of it. All right, let's taste. Mm -mm. Mm -mm. No, no coconut rice. So it was it wasn't good tonight. It just wasn't good options. Yeah, it was not. It was they, were, they did not have their A game today. I don't know. We're looking for the parrot. The girls want to take a picture with the parrot. We're looking for the parrot. We don't. I, we don't know the parrot. So I guess it's like where's the parrot now? So we're looking for the parrot. If you need assistance booking your next cruise, feel free to reach out to us at parkersonthego16 at gmail.com and we can help you book your next cruise adventure. Watch this video right here.